Hi, today's lesson is on the left hand technique and we're going to show you how to deaden the strings using your left hand, the same hand that you hold your chords with, as opposed to using your right strumming hand. The name of this particular lesson and exercise is called the left hand deadening strings and uh, it used for the effect of giving the sound of a staccato sound. So instead of letting the chord ring out, there's a staccato, a short sound. Okay, so let's keep it simple. And I'm gonna start with C, F, and G7. Keep in mind, uh, this technique will depend on you and your exploration on finding new ways of uh, trying to deaden the strings of the chords you play. Meaning that how well you know your chords, how to make the chords, and what it is you're trying to do and do in the future, meaning the chord that's coming up, your next chord coming up depends on how your hand positioning is and I'll show you an example and how to think when you're doing these kind of kinds of chords. So we're going to do C, F, G7. The basic way of holding a C is your third finger. Now I'm going to suggest that you, to deaden the strings you're going to basically bring these two fingers on to cover the top three strings and then uh, relax your ring finger and that causes the dipping strings sound okay relax the ring and then bring the two fingers over or one finger over to rest on the strings so it looks like this okay now for the F chord all you're gonna do is just bring down these two fingers right there over the strings. Okay. For the G7, this is a little more difficult. You can just try to hit maybe the three bottom strings and then relax the three fingers, or you can bring your thumb over to um, uh, dead in the top string. Some folks do this, but it might take a little used to, uh, getting used to, to do that. But you decide because uh, it's a technique that you have to develop. So it should sound something like this. Now, what I talked about in positioning your fingers. So if you're playing a song and you know you have to use this technique, you might as well sit your fingers, your fingering up so that it helps you to do this technique. So in other words, instead of playing your C chord with your ring finger, play it with your first. So you can bring down the rest of your fingers to dead in the string. So eventually you should get to the point where you can do your chords with uh, different kinds of fingering. Now another example, I'm going to be using the A minor chord, G, F, E7, okay? And um, for the A minor chord, I'm just basically resting my hand. Kind of like the, putting these two fingers on. And for the G, same thing like the G7. And then finally the F, no, I mean the F chord, bring, we did this before, same way. And what I'm going to do for the E7, I'm just going to build, build it up like this, just to add a little phrasing and continuity to bring us back to the A minor. So it should sound something like this. So give that a try on the dig, uh, for deadening your strings and causing the staccato sound. Um, and keep in mind that you're going to have to be creative and uh, develop some of your own techniques. And a lot depends on how you do the fingering of your chords. And depending on what's coming up next in the song, uh, you should start to think about positioning your fingers uh, so that it helps you to dead in the strings more appropriately. But these two examples should definitely set you in the right uh, position for uh, getting to um, 
used to on that technique. Oh, by one, one more. Let me show you for uh, for blues music. Okay, that's an E. That's an E seven. D seven. I'm just relaxing, relaxing my finger. And for the E seven, I'm relaxing and dropping down. E seven. Okay, so it sound like this. So it's also used um, in blues music for that particular thing. Okay, so I want you already and to move on to the next lesson. We shall see you then.